Impact Wrestling presents Against All Odds. Live June 9th on Impact Plus and Fight. Now Slamovich is on a rampage heading into the dog collar match at Against All Odds. Ladies and gentlemen, the following non-title contest is set for one fall. Introducing first from Toledo, Ohio, he is the X Division Champion, Drew McGill. Also tomorrow night and against all odds, Trey McGill will once again defend his X Division title against Chris Saban because of what happened two weeks ago at Under Siege. It looked like Chris Saban was going to capture his ninth X Division crown. However, the official was taken out. Trey Miguel gouged at the eyes of Saban and ultimately used his spray paint right into the eyes again of Chris Saban to hold on to his championship. All right, hooker by Crook. Miguel remains your X Division champion. His opponent from Mumbai, India, Bupinder Gujar. Gujar currently makes his home in Windsor, Ontario. Impact will be back in Windsor at St. Clair College Sportsplex for the celebration of our Slammiversary live on pay-per-view Fight TV and DAZN internationally on Saturday, July 15th. And the night after is all the fallout from Slammiversary on Sunday, July 16th. Tickets are on sale now at impactwrestling.com. We know, come Slammiversary, it'll be Deanna Barrazzo defending her knockouts world title against Trinity. That huge matchup already announced and that alone makes Slammiversary a can't-miss event. And it only goes up from here, folks. So here we go, first time ever matchup between Gujar and Miguel. First time ever matchup at Slammiversary is Barrazzo and Trinity. And this is such a great opportunity for Bupinder Gujar here to be in the ring with the X Division champion one of the greatest champions of the modern Impact Wrestling era in Trey Miguel. Listen, I'm not going to argue with you that he is a great athlete, a great performer, so here's the a point generational where you actually talent. do argue with me. What he did at Under Siege, how does that make him a great champion? To me, that makes him a coward. Did he win? Uh, technically, in the record did book, yes. Thank it's going to go down as a victory for Trey Miguel, but Thank the means you. by which he did it, is there any honor in that? Is there any class in the way Trey Miguel conducted himself? I see question one. Bender Gujar trying to take Miguel off his feet and control the X Division champion. Gujar here is, of course, somebody we talk about all the time. Yeah. So much potential. Oh, cover. Kick out. That is one of those guys. I could see him wearing the X Division championship around his waist someday, but I'll tell you this. It's not today. Not while someone like Trey Miguel holds on to that thing with an iron grip. Bupinder Gujar was voted as the one to watch oh. in 2023 by the Impact Wrestling fans. It's a part of the year-end voting last year. And when he gets going, he has this intensity that's hard to stop. I'll give him credit. Gujar with a little bit of a home, home field advantage here, making his home just down the road from London, Ontario, Canada oh. here. Kick right to the back of the head of Trey Miguel. Whoa. Oh, and down goes Miguel. Miguel having some trouble right now. Not exactly a good sign 24 hours before defending his title against Saban. Miguel just getting some breathing room, collecting himself. That's what a champion does. That's what a veteran does. Uh, Gujar. Oh, oh, caught amongst the ropes there by Miguel. That is also what a veteran does and a champion does. Biding your time, picking your moments. Let your opponent do the work for you sometimes. It looked like Miguel, oh, sent Gujar throat first into the middle rope. Now and the move saw oh, that was beautiful. There's the cover. And Gujar able to kick out at one. The hang time, though, on that moonsault from Trey Miguel. We used to call him the Fresh Prince of Midair for a reason. Gujar to the outside. While Miguel trying to pick up a win here last week in our main event, the Motor City Machine Guns. Got a victory against Subculture in a first time ever dream match. Saban getting the pinfall there, so you know the eight time X Division champion feeling confident heading into Against All Odds in Columbus. And meanwhile, this has got to be a dream match for Gujar oh. to go one on one with someone the caliber of Trey Miguel. 
Gujar beats the count back inside, and Miguel dumps him outside one more time. It appears Miguel very content to take a count out. That's often uh, looked down upon in professional wrestling. I don't know if you know that. How many people do you know that look down on wins? You seem to lose this concept, Tom. A dub is a dub is a dub. Leave your honor at the door. It doesn't pay the bills. Oh, oh by a count of six, Miguel kicking Kuchar off of the apron. Viva La X Division champion, baby. Trey is feeling himself, feeling the advantage. 100% gujar has got a, a tall mountain to climb here if he wants to get back in control. But, oh, oh, that's a good start. Now oh, Gujar once again sent to the outside, but he holds on to the top rope. We surprised Ooh. Miguel a little bit. Starting to, to find his pacing here, find his openings. Credit where credit is due from Gujar here. Oh, face first goes Miguel. And now, there's the opening for Bupinder Gujar. Come on, let's go. And now Gujar pointing to the corner. Well, now Gujar here. Climbing up to the top rope. We're gonna set up the X Division champion here. Iris, could it be high reward? Oh. Not today! Go for the splash, and Miguel gets out of the way. And now Miguel lining him up. Whoa. Oh, Miguel with an absolute blitz here. Oh, stop right to the back. And once again, the X Division champion cool and confident in firm control. This is life work. And now Miguel is going up to the top turnbuckle, trying to turn things around on Bupinder Gujar. And calling it out. And whoa! Oh, looked like he was setting up for the Meteor, able to roll through. Gujar able to move out of the way, but not for long here. Kick right to the face. Lightning spiral right on the neck of Gujar. Miguel wins. Miguel wins, looks good doing it, and heads into against all odds with a lot of momentum. The third longest reigning impact X Division champion of all time continues to build momentum before against all odds. I am a generational talent, and no matter what I do to prove that I'm the greatest to ever do this, all I ever get in response is, yeah, but. Yeah, but this. Yeah, but that. Yeah, but nothing. Chris Saban, with no due respect, you used to be a figure of what could be a generational talent, but that was then, and this is now. And that's my point. You are looking at the rarest form of a generational champion that Impact has ever known. I've defended and retained in the Ultimate X. I've defended and retained inside of the Monsters Ball. And I've defended and retained against the only eight-time former X Division champion, Chris Saban. Just like I plan on doing tomorrow night at Against All Odds. But this time, there will be no ifs, there will be no ands, and there will be no yeah buts. An incredibly confident Trey Miguel heading into Against All Odds to defend his X Division Championships.